Hi guys, my name is Mera, and in today's video I'm going to play on my first Souls game. I choose to start with Demon Souls. If you don't know this already, there is an easy mode in this game. By choosing the right class we can literally melt every single boss and enemy in this game without worrying a bit. The class that you need to choose is the royalty class, with this we can actually be a proper mage and kill everyone. We start the thing off by getting smashed by the tutorial boss, because he doesn't have any trophy tied up to him and also because I'm bad. But don't worry, if I got the Platinum Trophy, everyone can. We are going to respawn in the Nexus, where we can actually start our journey to the first world of Demon Souls. We are going into Boletaria, the first world of this beautiful game, where we are going to beat the first boss and get the first trophy of this game. This game difficulty according to PSN profiles is a 7 out of 10 difficulty with a completion time of 40 hours, but we will see that it's not true at all with my build. This was my first try with Phalanx, and let me tell you, it was very easy. I literally used the same magic spell over and over until this fight was over, and it took me less than 5 minutes to beat him. With this we are going to get the Phalanx trophy. After beating Phalanx and getting his souls, we are going back to the next, where we are going to learn a new magic spell and level up our character. I need to explain what I'm going to do right now. As you can see, I'm going to die in this world, but why? This game has a thing called World Tendency, a morality system that can change your action in your run. The best way to complete this game is to remain in Souls form. If we remain in Souls form, the World Tendency will not change at all, only in human form can change. We can use this strategy for the entire run until New Game Plus. In the next bit we are in the prison of Hope, where we are going to save Sage Freak, a powerful magician that will give us a trophy. This part was a little bit harder than Boletaria, but still nothing special. In order to save him we need to collect some keys and beat some enemies along the way. The next boss we are going to fight is called the Judicator in Island Edge. This boss has two trophies tied up to him, one is for beating him and the other one is for beating him without falling him down. I'm going to show you the easiest way to beat him. Just use the first spell against his head and don't fall down. Nothing hard at all. Now we need to save an NPC from a cruel death, for a trophy obviously, but before that we are going to get inside a trap from Patches, a mercant that we need to save because it's self cure for our character. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. 
prendertela, eh? Fa con calma. Quando sarai morto di fame, venderò tutto ciò che trovo sul tuo cadavere. <ride> Patches will also give us a ring that we need for a trophy. In this game we need to collect 30 different rings to pop a trophy. At least this guy gave us something useful. <laughs> the upcoming boss we are going to beat is the full cycle. And we are going to kill her in one cycle thanks to an easy but cheesy strategy. We need to put one specific ring that makes the attack more powerful if your health bar is less than 30%. In order to get this, we need to get it by this sense PC once and then beat him. After that, we can beat this boss in one cycle and get two trophies, one for beating her and the other one for beating her without eating the clones. <laughs> After this boss we are ready for another one, the Lichmonger, where we are going to use the same strategy but instead of the sword we are using magic. Before the next fight, we need to unlock the best spell of this game, Poison Cloud. With this we can kill almost all the bosses without even fighting. We are going to see what I mean in a few moments. If it wasn't for this spell, this game will be at least a 5 out of 10. Because magic is still broken and make this game a walk in the park anyway. With this spell obtained, we are going to fight the Manitar very easily. This strategy is not hard to pull and I got it on my first try.
I think you know the deal right now. We are going to use the same spell against the old monk. And with the fact that I'm playing offline, this boss is very very easy. If it was a normal human, I would probably get in Smash a lot. Because I'm not good at this game at all. After that we collect another ring for my collection and then we are for another boss. This time it's the old hero. This boss is blind so just use the same spell over and over and the fight is over, as always. Next to this boss there is another one, but this time we need to use a specific sword in order to kill him. And the only strategy we can use is to stay behind a pillar and use our weapon. This fight is not hard with this strat, but it is slow as the others. This feels like a shopping list. The next victim is going to be the armor spider, but there is a little problem. I beat this boss already with a friend that needed a return to form trophy, and I didn't record the clip. Also, I got the unwelcome west trophy in the meanwhile, where I beat another player as an invader. But I didn't record that too because uh, I'm an idiot. To be fair, this trophy is not hard with my build, and you can actually boost it, so it's not a big of a deal. I'm going to melt this boss like the others anyway, so... <laughs> Now it's time to beat the flame lurker with poison cloud and do other things in the meanwhile, like uh, playing my 3DS. Uh, yes, I was really playing my 3DS because this strat is so slow but effective. We can stop now, so we beat the Dragon God, and this boss fight is more than a mimic than a real fight. We need to run across the room and click to weapon, to put his health down a bit, 
and then beat him with the hands of God. We don't actually need to use the hands of God because we only need to equip this to the left hand and use magic to finish him. Very easy, honestly. Another day, another boss to beat. This is probably the first time that I need to actually focus to beat a boss. But still, with magic it's not hard at all. We are going to beat the Dirty Colossus and get another trophy. Before we beat another boss, we need to collect Makoto, a sword for Satsuki. This one is a side quest with a trophy and like always it's easy. Consegnami Makoto immediatamente. Sì, sì, è proprio lei. Che splendore. Finalmente è mia. <ride> Questa spada sarà davvero così mortale come dicono. C'è solo un modo per scoprirlo. Moving on, this time we need to beat a boss called Maiden Astrea. We are going to get two trophies, one for beating her and the other one is for beating her without killing Guard Villain, her guard. This fight was uh, easy as always.
We are almost done with the first run of this game. Now it's the turn of Tower Knight. I think you already know which strat I'm going to use. Let's just say that I will beat him without fighting him. Or the guards. This game feels like a boss rush, because we are going to fight another boss, the penetrator, and this one is the second fight where I need to focus a little. Surprise uh, is still easy with this build. After this boss, we backtrack a little to get a weapon called Isteral and a trophy for it. After the trophy, we need uh, to save an NPC called Yuria the Witch for a trophy and then beat her for a side quest that will give us some rings for the trophy. If we don't do this, we need to play this game at least two more times. I want to get this done in two playthroughs. We are at the end of the first playthrough, with almost all the trophies done. Now we need to beat the false king with the same strat as before, and beat the real king. After the fight with the real king we need to back up our save because we need to get 3 trophies. The bad ending trophy, the road to possibilities trophy and the legacy of the king's trophy. All of these trophies are very easy to obtain with a backup save. <laughs> Eno, 
contro di me. Don Tico si nutrirà delle nostre anime e metterà fine a questa tragedia. Stolto. Non capisci? Nessuno vuole vivere. Il vostro lavoro è finito. Tornate di sopra, uccisore di demoni. non vi imprigionerà più. Riporterò l'antico al suo sonno. Portami le anime più potenti che possiedi. Mm, una scelta saggia. Fai bene a riporre la tua fiducia nel grande Fabro Ed. Portami un'anima demoniaca. La userò per benedire la tua arma. Ah, mi fai perdere tempo. ti serve se hai bisogno di un finito allora sparisci we are officially in new game plus where we need to collect the last two rings get a trophy called time for rolling beat the penetrator with BR for a trophy Rescue Yuria and Sage Freak again, and made a backup save so we can actually get both Miracles and Magic Spells trophies. battete per noi. Grazie a voi. Se volete, io le purifico. Dio 
Dio benedica questo prode guerriero. Un basa. Salve i dinumi, ma le mie non preferite la magia. Dunque voler per me sare... ne siete certi. Grazie. Spero che la mia stregoneria possa esservi d'aiuto. The last trophy that we need for the Platinum is Return to Form. We need to help someone with a random boss and I got lucky enough that someone needs help with Flame Lurker. I carried him to the victory and I got my beautiful Platinum trophy with a new animation. I want to say thank you so much for everyone that watched this, vi this entire video. If you're still here, write a comment with Now do the Dark Souls Trader Gimera. Shout out to Square One Games and Bushido Cypher because they helped me to complete this beautiful game. Without both guides I was probably going to the this game as fast as possible. Enjoy the last clip. If you like this video leave a like, uh, a dislike if you didn't like it, comment below for what I need to play next and a subscription to the channel because I will make more content like this.